Entertaining heat. You can hear the uh, hooter in the background, folks. And that is going to open up heat number six, round number three. Jared Houston from South Africa in the red. We've got Alex Uranga from the Basque Country in green. And Sergio Lewis from Brazil is in the black singlet. Yeah. First wave of black is that Sergio Lewis, it looks like. Just unfortunately couldn't get her on that. All right, well, it looks like uh, we've got Mark McCarthy about to uh, take your spot. Tanner McDaniel, thank you very much, mate. Yeah, How have you fun. enjoyed your first uh, live webcasting? It was sick. It was really fun. Mate, we really enjoyed your comments. And as we said, along with Davis and Miguel and Maxime and Mateus from uh, Brazil, uh, you know, we're really stoked to see the next wave of ge uh, generation of bodyboarders coming through. You guys taking it to a new level, mate. Yeah. Keep up the good work. Thank you. All and right, thank you very I much. That was Tanner McDaniel from Kauai. And Mark McCarthy will now uh, slip into the booth, and I'm pretty sure that Alex Leon also will be coming back. We're just watching a replay here of the uh, first wave for Sergio Lewis. And, well, he just boosted so hard, he nearly went off the back of that one and landed in the back seat and uh, just mixing it up in the end there. And a uh, bit of an incomplete ride for uh, Sergio Lewis to open up his campaign. As we welcome into the booth, Mark McCarthy. How Hi. are you, mate? Good, and yourself, Tessa? Yeah, good, mate. Uh, loving it. That was a, uh, a, a great heat uh, just a moment ago. It was uh, Pierre just running away with it, but it was a real good battle for second between Novi and Stewart. Yeah, it was, um, it was a bit uh, bit sad we couldn't see Novi answer, answer back in the last uh, six minutes. Nothing came through for him. But um, right now we've got his live action. Yes, Jad Houston paying for this one. He's, he knows something's down the line. He wants to generate the speed. He goes up, just uh, trying out the end ball and just... Boom, nice, a nice big uh, signature invert. Jared Houston starting his campaign off in round number three with a nice invert. Yeah, well, there's been uh, some incredible heats in this round, folks. And uh, coming up in the next heat, Jeff Hubbard, Dallas Singer, Johan Florentine. That's got to be one of the best heats of the round. Yeah, when I saw that, when I saw that draw, I was, um, definitely saw that as the heat of the, of the Connie so far. And um, here's Alex Oranga. He's going to answer back to Jared's first opening wave. He goes up and over, catches a bit of a rail. Just a um, couple of nerves there for Alex, but uh, it's a good little opening way there. But, yeah, that, uh, that heat's going to be amazing to yeah. watch. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, Jeff uh, is the defending champion. Dallas uh, is so comfortable in these conditions, these big lefts in particular. Here's the replay. Yeah, it's Jared Houston. He's, uh, he's always, always eyeing up that end ball, and you've just seen him going up and over, just um, getting maximum, maximum um, projection there on that little wave. So, yeah. Yeah, Interesting scores to see. Yeah, absolutely. Scores uh, have dropped. and maybe Jared gets himself a 6.38 for that. Sergio Luis's score, he popped in at a 4.5. And uh, we went for loss of Alex Arangas. Well, there's the uh, little replay of uh, Alex Arangas opening wave there. And uh, as Mark McCarthy just mentioned, we'll wait for that score to lock in and uh, give you the update. Jared Houston, mate, um, finished second to PLC in uh, Sintra. I really thought he was going to take his first ever win on the GSS circuit at that contest. He came so close. And I uh, just kept trying to get that uh, little, she was only chasing a uh, little score from memory yeah. in the end there against uh, PLC, right on dark. But, uh, you know, he'll be fired up to try and, uh, you know, get his first ever podium. Yeah, it seems like uh, he's on a bit of a roll at the moment. Uh, I've been free surfing with him the last week, and uh, we just seen his podcast come out a few weeks ago, and it's like mind blowing, along with Jeff's podcast. Um, from uh, He spent a month after, after was it um, just before Sintra? So he's in, a, he's in a good little spot, in a good little spot right now, and. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we do see Alex's last wave. We get a 4.45, so he is third. Jared, the first. Second is Luis. Still the beginning beginning starts of this heat. Well, hope you're enjoying the uh, action as much as we are, uh, folks. Uh, Terry McKenna along with Mark McCarthy from South Africa taking you through uh, a very big day here at Zicatella. Of course, the uh, Turbo Zicatella Pro proudly presented by the guys at sportingbet.com.au. Throw a couple of bucks on your favourite bodyboarder and bring a whole new dimension to uh, watching the webcast. But uh, we're going to try and push as far as we can today, Mark. And uh, we've yeah. got a very strong offshore breeze. Uh, waves, as you can see around there, I guess three to five feet. Maybe some six-footers coming through. No, the waves are definitely not, a, not the problem. We've, uh, we've been kind of cursed with a bit of onshore, onshore winds early in the morning the last few days. But uh, this morning I woke up bit of chill in the, in the air which is always a good thing you know they know the offshore starting to blow and um, just been uh, blessed with some offshore breezes this morning it's just you know great well I was talking with uh, you know the uh, local extraordinaire Edwin Morales and Edwin said 
He's real worried about Friday with the winds. He thinks there's a storm that's uh, currently brewing up uh, down the coast at the moment that's going to roll in here Friday and pretty much just destroy the conditions. So uh, the, the concept is now is for us to try and wind this contest up tomorrow. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like uh, we have lots of strong offshore but it's going to be blown tomorrow. Hopefully it'll stay, out, stay for as long as possible so we can finish the contest. So, um, but things are not looking too bad. That's still lets it come and... Uh, we got what we have to deal with. What we got today, and today is pretty pumping. Okay, well, we're just waiting for a couple of waves to uh, come through. We are going to throw down to the winner of the previous heat. It's PLC talking with Dan Zimbra. Take it away, Dan. Thanks, Terry. I'm here with the winner of the last heat, Pierre Louis Costes from France. Pierre, so you made it through round three into round four. What are you going to be doing to prepare for this next round? Um, well, I'm just going to watch uh, the next couple of hits. There's going to be uh, some great hits. St. Jeff is in the next hit, and that's going to be interesting. And uh, no, just relax. Uh, let's see if, uh, if we're surfing again. Very really happy to pass this round because now it's a uh, non-elimination round. So it allows us to surf a bit, bit better, and I'm uh, yeah, pretty happy. So take us through that amazing right that you got. Um, yeah, I got like two, two really nice ones. The first one was pretty. Uh, it was a really long barrel. Uh, I didn't get too many barrel free serving, so I was pretty happy to be in the position to get one in the comp. So just a long barrel, very enjoyable. And uh, the second one was just uh, also a long barrel, but I was able to do um, to do two rolls out, so I got a better score. But yeah, all the barrels here are just so enjoyable to ride, and I don't know, I feel pretty happy. Amazing, solid performance out there, man. Do you want to make any shout outs before we go? Yeah, I think my, my family is watching right now, my mom, my sister, my dad, so I just want to send a kiss. To my family, my friends, everyone's watching, my girlfriend's here, so I'm going to kiss her now, and uh, it's everything good. <laughs> well, congratulations on making it through round three. We'll see you in round four. Back to you, Terry, in the booth. Okay, thank you very much, Dan Zimbra, doing a fantastic job there. Hey, uh, Dan, of course, one of the uh, many Hawaiians who follows around on this IBA World Tour. We hope you're enjoying the action, folks. We're going to pay a couple of bills, throw to an ad break, and we'll be right back with more action from the Turbo Zicatella Pro right after this. I'm Andrew Lester and this is the Turbo 5. It's a clean and simple shape with minimal branding and we designed it specifically for the guys who just want to shred. The board straight template is built for speed, allowing the rider maximum projection when hitting the lip or making those deep barrels. The board features PSI, precision stringer inlay. This means the stringers are moulded in with the core, giving the board added strength and longevity. It features Serlin Slick for better flex and projection, nose bulbs for grip, 50-50 rails for speed, and channels for control. The Turbo 5 is available in two core options, Polypro and Paradox Cell. The Polypro comes with a single circular stringer and is better for warmer water, and the less dense Paradox Cell comes with three flat stringers and is better for the colder water. The Turbo 5 is an extremely fast board, so if you're the type of bodyboarder who likes getting barreled and going for those big airs, then this board is perfect for you. Alrighty, well, welcome back, and uh, thank you very much to uh, Turbo, of course, our major sponsor here of uh, what is a fantastic stop down. And, uh, you know, of course, this contest was uh, was cancelled, and uh, the uh, self Amos Border campaign helped to resurrect it. And thank you very much to all those people that contributed, as we see uh, another of those right hand. You actually got yourself a couple of these things in your heat, Mark. Yeah, I was uh, just, uh, just uh, found himself in a good sweet spot there. Not the biggest looking way, but uh, situ situated himself into the barrel. Came out with a nice video. Yes, Sergio Luis, yes, his answer. Sergio Luis from Brazil. Going up and over for a nice extending roll. He's got a good little style, Sergio. Unfortunately, getting stuck in the white waters there. He's going to push through the studs and um, come through that as a complete ride. But um, judges will have a look at that. And uh, he was stuck in the white water for quite a long time for the, the yeah. size of the wave. It uh, should have come out a bit cleaner a bit earlier. Yeah. That's right. Well, you only, you know, usually use, lose uh, about a point five or a point, I guess, yeah. out, of, out of it, not coming out of it clean. But oh, speaking about a, coming out cleanly and the kabam. perfect wave for Jared Houston to stand up and over for a nice invert. Yeah. He wasn't too deep in that barrel, but um, I think he was always trying to end out there. He wanted to get as much speed as possible so he can hit that end ball. It's what um, he's kn known for. That's right. Here's the uh, sporting bet replay of uh, Sergio Lewis. And you can see Sergio up and through the uh, throffy lip here at Zicatella. And um, as we mentioned earlier, one of the things the judges do look for, little, uh, little things, is, uh, is a clean exit from the manoeuvres. And uh, Sergio getting a, a little tied up in the suds on that one. There's a couple of big sets early in there now. 
Let's see if Alex Iranga can uh, find himself a wave. Alex, have a look at that one. He's out there by himself, so he's holding on priority. Unfortunately, that set just did come in, and uh, it's a bit straight. And uh, you'll see a couple more come in. Let's see if Alex picks out one of these last few of this set. Well, don't forget to uh, keep your comments coming on the Facebook page, and uh, let's see what this guy can do with this. Oh, nice, clean. Better looking way for Alex. He was sitting in third place prior to that wave. He needed a 4.24. Guaranteed he would get that. And last wave of Jared Houston dropping into 7.1. And uh, he's got a 7.1 and a 6.38. So he's got a total combined score of 13.48. So, yeah, good start for Jared Houston. And uh, we all, and last scores for Sergio Luis dropping into 4.18. Here's his last of Alex Arangas. Yeah, well, uh, Aranga, of course, the, uh, the rider from the Basque country, representing uh, those uh, his people very well on the uh, GSS circuit. And, uh, you know, when he's on a roll... This guy's very hard to stop. He's 23 years of age. He's 77 kilos, <laughs> as we said, from the Basque country. He's a pretty cheeky kind of a fella, uh, the old Alex Aranga. And, uh, yeah, he's a, a real character. And there's live action. Jared Houston just in and out. Uh, scores, scores the drop for Alex Aranga, and it seems like he did get the score. He got a 5.83. So now that means Sergio Lewis moves on to fourth. Sergio Nani is a 5.79. And uh, that's the... We've got the names up there for the next year. This is going to be an absolute amazing one to watch. I'm sure the whole world is watching this one. Jeff Hubbard, he's been on crazy form the last few months out here. And uh, Dallas Singer coming back from a mental injury a few months ago and just showing his form, getting great scores. And the trials champion, Johan Florentine from Reno Island. Yeah, well, he's been rattling some cages, that's for sure, over the last th two or three events. In fact, he's uh, placed really highly in Venezuela, Brazil, and uh, won the trials here in Zicatella. But, uh, you know, you can see just uh, Houston calling for an update from the beach announcer. But uh, you can just see that uh, Jeff Hubbard really had his game face on then, didn't he? Yeah, he's, uh, he knows what he wants to do. Okay, I, must, I stayed with him the few, my first few weeks while I was over here, and... Uh, he just seems so pumped, and I've never seen anyone that surfs so much. He's up, he's out there in the dark. He's in the morning, and he's in his surfs about three times during the day, and then he only gets back seven or eight o'clock when the sun goes down. So he puts in the hours. You know, he wants. He, he's got this wave worked out to absolute T. No yeah. one kind of generates the same kind of speed he does. But this guy, Jade Houston, here he goes up and over. a bit of a bumpy one, opting to just. Um, that wave just did not really work in with him. Yeah, well, that wave had a couple of lumps and bumps in it. And, uh, well, despite uh, negotiating the ridges pretty well, he uh, lost some valuable momentum. That won't go in the top two. Currently hanging on to a 6.38 and a 7.1. Jared Houston in the lead. Uh, Uranga sitting in second. And Sergio Lewis in third place, chasing about, a, well, almost a six-point average to uh, take himself up a bit of a spot. G'day to uh, David Cavallo, uh, Lewis uh, Fallis. Paulo Barros, all the people that are watching the webcast live. You can see a couple of the uh, girls here just uh, checking out the uh, some of the picks. Yeah, and uh, that is oh rude, of my. course. And here we go. This is Alex Orango. This is a better looking way for him. He's going to try just, he needs to just slow down. But he's eyeing out that end ball without a doubt. He's going to go up and over and just crank himself a nice roll. Just um, obviously just trying to get more of a uh, gap lead between him and Sergio. It's not going to be enough to take the lead. He did need a 7.65, but I'm pretty sure he's going to drop his worst score, which was a 4.45. Yeah, yeah. There's and that's no going to make um, the numbers a bit higher for Sergio Luis. Well, here's the replay. You can see your own getting in this one. Added plenty of size on it too, Mark. Yeah, he just um, see how far he's down. He's holding his board. Just uh, he's always wanted to hit the end ball. He's going up and over. You can see he's got two different color fins. So he must have lost one during the week. He's been getting some mental barrels out here, and uh, he's been in great form, Alex Aranga. It's, uh, you know, that uh, that fluoro lime slick that he uses on that board. I must admit, I'm a bit of a fan of that. Really uh, looks quite flashy when he uh, when he does his moves, particularly, his, uh, you know, one of his trademark moves is that invert that he does. Yeah, and, he just uh, flicks really it over. Really sort of highlights the, uh, this is a different angle of the same wave. Wow, this is a great looking angle. The camera guys is getting the job done. Yeah, this is a beautiful wave. You can see I just goes up and over. And he gets himself a 5.85. So, yes, making things a little more difficult for Sergio, who now needs a 7.18. So, um, Sergio Luis needs to get himself a good-looking wave. But it's definitely not over for him. There's uh, 15 and a half minutes left. Yeah, we've got a bunch of people on Facebook at the moment at the uh, IBA World Tour Facebook page. Don't forget, if you want to ask, uh, you know, my clear commentator here, Mark McCarthy, anything, send through those messages and, uh, you know, you can interact with us here in the commentary booth. 
Right there, so a couple of locals just uh, kicking back, checking out the action, and you can see the judges up the top there, and of course the uh, priority at the moment, first priority black, second priority red. So whatever's on top is the uh, first priority, second is uh, underneath, and then third and fourth we always do with just the microphone. Yeah, it's pretty amazing to they've got you this year. I've just been blown away, I mean, from what they had to work with um, and what we've... You know, we've just come down here, we've got an amazing setup. The scaffolding's been set up the first day, and it's... Uh, Everything's been kind of been running pretty smooth so far. You know, we've just been really grateful to actually have this event and to broadcast it to the world is just um, something pretty special. Yeah, absolutely. Look, uh, there's uh, Dallas Singer on uh, screen at the moment. As we said, taking on Jeff Hubbard and Johan Florentine, giving a bit of a wave there to some of his uh, friends back there in Newcastle who uh, undoubtedly uh, stayed up late to uh, watch their, their boy do their stuff. Uh, so Johnny Cruikshank and uh, Simon for Solid. All the boys would be, uh, you know, tuning in and uh, watching their... There, boy. Mitch Lees as well from Box Beach. But right now, it's the rider in red, Jared Houston. And Houston. Oh, Jared Houston's going up and over. Probably pretty frustrated with that one. Didn't have much to work with, but um, still in a comfortable position. He didn't need a sc score. So, you know, Jared's still sitting in first. Alex in second. Sergio in third. But uh, unfortunately, that wave didn't cooperate for Jared Houston. Sometimes it's just good to keep your rhythm going. Yeah. You know, and you just uh, you get in the, like a, a rhythm with the sets and you just like to keep going. But you can see this one here, Mar uh, Mark. It's, uh, it came off the top pretty nicely, but that lip just didn't sort yeah. of uh, pitch and offer the sort of angle that he wanted. Yeah. His timing was pretty perfect right there. Just um, the wave didn't, you know, didn't give him the opportunity to actually flick off and do himself an end of it. Here we see Jared Houston, 22 years of age. Currently ranked number nine from South Africa. Just moved himself into a new place in Malkbos. So I'm sure all the boys in Malkbos and um, maybe we, got current, we actually have current uh, SA champs on the go at the moment. And um, unfortunately, we can't be there, but they're all watching and supporting. And uh, yeah, Sergio Luis. Oh, it's a good looking way for Sergio going up and over for a nice roll. He's going to keep on going on this one. He's going to go again. And it. Wow, it was a nice wave for Sergio Luis. Yeah, very, very nice execution there. And the technique was flawless for the uh, Brazilian. So uh, he's chasing a, a seven and a half point ride to try and move up into second, uh, where it's currently being held by Alex Aranga. And Jared Houston, of course, is leading the heat. Here's the replay, Mark. Take us through this yeah, one. Yeah, Sergio Luis gets himself situated into the barrel. He tries to slow down. He goes up and over for a nice extended arm roll. Just... Drags your shoulder onto the lip there and throws another roll. So, oh, good looking wave. He did need a 7.18. I don't know if it's going to fall into that category, but uh, it's going to be pretty close. And um, with that, we'll just wait for those scores to drop. Uh, we know Sergio Luis has been um, bed struck for the last few days. Um, I think he's got a bit of a bad flu, and uh, we've seen him rock up here. Just drag himself out of bed, uh, but uh, just saving that energy for this heat gen, which without a doubt he needs to be. And the scores have dropped. He gets himself a 6.1 which makes it a bit more easier for him. Now he only needs a 5.58. Five five so if he can get himself another wave like that, it's going to be a bit of trouble for Alex Urango, who's currently in second. Alex having a sniff at that one, deciding not to go. Oh, there's still a couple of sick waves out there. There goes an unwritten nice little right. The tides are changing here. So we can see um, the waves are closing out a little bit, a little bit more than they were this morning with the, with the higher tide. But definitely still a couple of bombs out there. I tell you, a big uh, set. I mean, you've been out there this morning, but uh, it really can flog your Zikatella, can't it? It's such a heavy wave. Oh, and yes, Jay, just on a big wave. Things bouncing. Oh, he's just, there's no uh, way he's coming out of that one. No. Speaking <laughs> of getting flogged, but I mean, pound per square inch, it's a pretty heavy wave, really, for oh, beach break, isn't oh, it? Oh, man, it's um, as heavy as it can, a beach break can possibly get. It's, um, this has got so much energy out here, and uh, it must be because it just drops off so deep. I mean, it's really shallow, shallow over there, and then five minutes, five minutes deeper than that, you can't even see the sets because it's so deep. And that wave must have just popped out of nowhere for Jared. Just, just bump, bump, bouncing, going through a bit of a rip, so he just couldn't find himself a proper rail. <laughs> Head down and just deciding, <laughs> oh, he knows that um, he's not going to make it out of that one. Probably well, just ducked out of it. Remember uh, he was famous for doing that last year when he charged that <laughs> big left bomb, remember? And he mental. did a little claim as he went into it. Yeah, was So, uh, no, he's, he's got no fear, that kid. And uh, i tell you what, uh, he's, uh, he's out in the front at the moment. Sergio Lewis, well, he did fall short, as Mark mentioned. Uh, what's he down to, mate? What's he need now? He now only needs a 5.58, so it's not a big um, big number for him. Sergio Lewis has been cracking them. He has Sergio Lewis paddling down the beach. Looks like he will have a look at this one. Sergio deciding to go. Oh my, this could be big problems going up 
and over for oh, a big looking roll. And that without was a doubt, it's going to fall very close to He got a 6.1 for the last wave, and the judges love to see that nice, clean bottom turn roll and come out of the wild water straight away. We saw Winnie do that in his eat yeah. with two clean rolls, and um, sure, that's going to fall close. Well, that's going to go very close indeed. Take us through the replay, Mark. Yeah, this is a different yeah, angle. Yeah, we go. Sergio Luis just, he bottom turned the whole time and came over oh, without yeah. a doubt. If I was in the judging panel, I'd be thinking mid sixes. You'll definitely get the score. Just going to see where it's going to fall into it. Different angle on the same wave. Yeah, Sergio Luis, 6.68. Wow. That goes up and over. Now, so that means Alex Uranga, wow, he needs a 6.93, pretty much a 7. So Alex Aranga, we haven't seen this in a while. Alex Aranga get himself into a bit of a tight situation, needing a score. Alex Aranga just got third at Sintra at the last event, so uh, he, he wants, he's looking for a good result here too. And um, with nine minutes left, he needs a 6.93. Very possible. Yeah, totally. And, uh, you know, action and plenty here at the uh, Turbo Zicatella Pro, folks. Coming to you live from Puerto Escondido in Mexico. And... Uh, well, what could be the second last day of the competition, uh, depending on how the forecast plays out. Coming up next, as uh, Mark and I mentioned earlier, probably the heat of the round. Uh, Jeff Hubbard, defending champion, taking on Dallas Singer, who is so at home in his big barreling lefts. It's like boxy on steroids, really. Oh, no. And uh, and then you've got Johan Florentine, who won the trials and he's finished highly in the last uh, two or three events leading up to this one in Brazil and Venezuela. Amazing, uh, amazing heat coming your way next, folks. A uh, couple of the locals just uh, hanging around, enjoying the action. It's a bit quiet down here at the moment. Yeah, it's, uh, I guess uh, it was ladies' night last night. So um, yeah. when I was uh, having dinner at the motel last night, everyone was just prepping up, getting ready, looking all smooth. Yeah. So maybe they had a big night, and I'm sure everyone else did. Well, I'm staying right behind uh, the nightclub where they had ladies' night, and I just <laughs> was sumping all night, kept me up for the moment until about 3 o'clock in the morning. And this is Alex Aranga's answer for Sergio. He needs a 7 Set himself, get himself in the barrel, going up and over. And once again, up and over yeah. again. That's a better looking way for Alex Oranga. And um, sure, that's going to be very really close. Well, that is going to be super close, folks. Let me tell you. Uh, he just held it uh, nicely there in a nice nice little stall in the barrel. Wanted to get that, uh, you know, that first maneuver right in the zone. And it'll be interesting the way the uh, judges uh, interpret this wave. Yeah, there we go, see. We just, we just, we just see him. He didn't get too deep. Yeah, he gets inside, but it, we can. The problem is we can see him the whole time. With the judges, probably can see him too, which uh, they're gonna score him down for. He goes up and over and up and over for another roll. So we will wait for the last of Alex Aranga's scores to drop. That's not his score. We wait for it to see, but um, that's gonna be an interesting one for Alex. He's gonna fall very close. All right. Well, just on uh, seven minutes remaining, oh, Aranga. Got he it. got the score seven point zero five. Yeah, Alex is just a competition machine. Getting, he knows what he wants. It. He knows he's probably surfing to get a seven in that wave. There's, he probably could have got a little bit more if he was just um, a bit more comfortable. We've seen him throw down those big flips on the left, but opting to just go for the, the quick in and out barrel and two rolls, just getting the score that he needs. Putting the pressure on Sergio Luis, who only needs a 6.23 now. We've seen him get those scores before. So really close between Alex and Sergio. Alex's total score is... Um, 12.9 and uh, Sergio's is 12.7, 7, 8. So it's only a, like a point two in it. So very close. Yeah, super close. And uh, we are down to about six and a half minutes, folks. You are watching Heat 6, round three of the Turbo Zicatella Pro, proudly presented by Sporting Bet. And of course, uh, also supported by Inverted, Reflex, Red Bull, Coastal Playground, and Colorado Surf. So thank you very much to uh, all those people. Don't forget on the IBA website, uh, in the shop there, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can get. Uh, we've got the 60, the 100, and the $80 packs all up for grabs. You can double your uh, money effectively by just uh, you know getting in there, swipe the credit card a couple of days later, uh, knock, knock at the door. Someone just uh, you know delivers a bunch of cool stuff to you. Yeah, it's a great cause. And uh, oh, here we go. Sergio Luis, this is his answer back. He's in the barrel. He's kind of got going. He needs to go up and over. He needs to flip. And whoa, that's a nice looking wave for him. He needs to finish off with a roll. If he can finish with a roll here, it'll be very interesting. Oh, my. I don't want to be a judge now. You can see he's claiming. He thinks he's got the score. Well, uh, what was he chasing? He only needed a 6.23. Well, he has he a replay. He played it a bit safe for my liking here. He could have got a lot deeper. But... He I was know. more focused on this move right here, and that is a fine execution, Mark McCarthy. Yeah. Wow. 
I would probably think that it's going to be in the 6.5 range. Jared just trying to keep himself busy at the same time. He's just been, um, he had a good start to the heat, but he's kind of slowed down in the, in the end of it. But uh, wow. I think the real, the real battle here is between Sergio and Alex, on Alex, Alex Luis. And yeah. uh, we're just waiting for the scores to drop. Alex, Alex answered back. He got a seven point on his last wave, moving him back into second. And Sergio Luis in third. He needed a 6.23. Let's just wait and see what that scores. It's going to be really close. It's going to be so close. There's uh, Magno Oliveira. Every time we hear him, he's screaming and he's... <laughs> He's pumping. The Sergio Lewis is one of his best mates. Judges are taking their time on this one. They want to get it right, and I'm sure they will. Yeah, absolutely. And he got it. He got a seven points. He moved into first. He got a 7.75. Wow. Big scores. Interesting, but very big. Four well, minutes left. I, I never thought that uh, Houston was uh, in uh, danger for... Maybe not getting through this heat, but with four minutes remaining, a uh, Yuranga now chasing 6.44 to take Houston out. Wow. That's a big turnaround, Mark. That's huge. Now, all of a sudden, Jade Houston, who was looking to be in the safe seat, is in the hot seat. And I think I think uh, priority is on Alex Yuranga right now. So, Alex has got three and a half minutes to pick himself up of 6.44. All right, well, while there's a little break in the action, let's quickly duck in and out with an ad break and more action live from Zikatella Pro right after this. Yes, punters, welcome to the world of Sporting Bet. At Sporting Bet, we live and breathe sports and racing. It's what we do day in and day out. That's why we're the punters' favourite, providing top odds and unique promotions on a huge range of markets. And our cutting-edge technology means you can bet anywhere, anytime. So if you're into sports and racing as much as we are, go to sportingbet.com.au today. Because there's no better bet than a sporting bet. Well, here we are. We're back uh, live action now, folks, and we're down to uh, less than three minutes, sub three minutes. And well, what started as a uh, impeccable start there for Jared Houston is starting to turn into a bit of a nightmare, really, with Alex Urunga coming at him and Urunga chasing a 6.44. Houston in second now, needing a 7.34 to take the lead from Sergio Lewis, who's last wave a 7.75. Really impressed the judging panel. I guess it was, uh, uh, clearly it wasn't the, the, the first part of the wave because he, he didn't really get tubed on it, but it was that big flip and it was a big set wave and he did hit it pretty sweetly and he got some uh, uh, some rotation in the air. Yeah, the judges like to see that, that clean, open, nice bottom turn. He, had, uh, he ticked all the boxes going up into that wave. So yeah, great, uh, great show here for Sergio Luis. He's got himself a total score of 14.43. Current heat leader, second, Jared Houston, 13.48, and Alex Oranga, 12.9. Alex Oranga in third. He needs a 6.44. That's your current situation. Uh, very interesting one. One and a half, or one, uh, two minutes left. Two minutes left in this heat. Can Alex Oranga find himself a score? This is going to be intense. Yeah, they, yeah. Um, they're really sitting next to each other. They're pretty close. If a wave comes through, let's hope there's two waves in that set so that... Um, Alex gets the first one, and Jared can just um, pound back on the second. Yeah, well, this is going to be another grandstand finish, folks. One minute, 30 seconds remaining. Houston, uh, I'd like to know what the priority sequence is at the moment. That would be very interesting. But you can see uh, Jared Houston just going over to sort of shadow Alex Oranga at the moment. Red. So red first priority. Okay, yeah. well that explains that. You can see Houston, and he's going to use that. Yeah. And uh, Yuranga trying to get away from him, trying to move on to the inside. Alex chasing 6-4-4, and he has the ability to conjure up scores, this kid, doesn't he? Yeah, without a doubt. One minute left. Jared Houston, you better keep paddling behind that boy. And just, <laughs> um, come on, Jerry. It's going to be a really close one. Yeah, you want to chase these guys if you've got priority because it can be a very powerful tool to use in this situation. We saw Jorge Colomer uh, in the first seat this morning. He let GT get that little way when he was holding on the first priority. And, you know, it was a bit of bad luck there for Jorge. He's too nice a guy to use priority against someone. I know. <laughs> What's nice thinking? guys always finish last. They do. They do. And, and you know, they had to be reversed. It's, it goes without saying. 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds. Can, Alex, can the ocean provide us with a couple of swells, a bit of action? In the last 30 seconds, 20 seconds left. And Alex is in a bad spot right now. You can see the rip is on the suck out. And with, that, with those rips, normally comes no waves. So um, there's a couple of bumps. I don't know if he's going to get there in time. 
13 seconds, 10 seconds. You can see the attitude with the, the, the Jared and um, Luis. Yeah. Five well. seconds. Uh, he's just going to get it not on time. It's two. Oh, yes. All right. Well, we say au revoir to the Basque Country local, Alex Uranga. He uh, got pipped at the post there.